Cattle parasites are a constant challenge. Untreated, they can raise production costs and chip away at profits. But regular, effective deworming is key in the fight against parasites. It can also have long-term benefits for an operation's bottom line. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Matt Fleck has more from Alabama. My mom and dad got this place when they were married. Back when I was a kid, cattle were a hobby for us. When I got out of college, we made the decision. Uh, we came into a little more land and, and made the decision to um, expand the operation and make it into a business rather than just a hobby. Over the years, Rick Schober and his dad have seen a lot of changes in the industry. One of the biggest has been implementing a strategic deworming program. The Schobers work closely with their veterinarian, Dr. Ted Studeman, to improve cattle performance. And one of the ways they do this is through a parasite control program. The relationship we've had with Ted through the years has just been fantastic from our perspective um, of advising with regard to um, you know, what directions you need to take, whether it be worming, deworming protocols or whether it be vaccination protocols or whatever the case may be, uh, his advice has been invaluable, um, you know, to, to help and guide us um, towards our goals. They've succeeded with these goals in part through a strategic deworming program, using the right product in the right environment at the right time of year for maximum effect against parasites. In West Central Alabama, parasites that cause a lot of concern are, are Ostratagia, particularly in the brown stomach worm. Vectamax injectable is effective at controlling both of those parasites, uh, which have been proven to have a negative impact on the cattle industry. Dr. Studeman um, certainly helped us um, develop our worming protocols through conversations over the years, um, you know, pinpointing the times, you know, to do it, uh, what, what were the most effective times to, to worm to get the best results, and, um, you know, product selection and what have you as well. Parasite control has worked very well for us to try to, to keep them in, in good shape to perform the way we need them to. Get the best bang for your buck, if you will, when you're putting running cattle through the pens and when you get your hands on them. Um, so, you know, we try to kill for lack of a better way to say it, two birds with one stone when we work calves in the spring to not only get the calves worked and wormed, but also the cattle as well. We use Dectamax injectable uh, always on the calves. Um, here in the spring working, uh, when we work the cows, we use Dectamax injectable on them as well. It made sense again when we're preg checking in the fall, you've got them up to shoot. You know, all the cows get deworming again then, and we, we generally use the, the Dectamax pour on at that time because of the fly control issue as well. At that time of year, horn flies are, are bad around here, and, and so uh, kind of getting a two for one there with the, the worm uh, wormer as well as the, the horn fly control. That extended duration from Dectamax really helps in terms of devising a strategic deworming program. If when you're looking at a product that controls parasites for a 21 to 28 days uh, based upon which parasites you're targeting, uh, that window of, of duration gives you a lot more flexibility in how to design a strategic deworming program than does some of our shorter acting uh, products. Along with Dectomax Injectable and Dectomax Poron, another Pfizer product, Valbazin, can also be used in a strategic deworming program. It just made sense when we were worming three times a year to implement the valvazin, which is in the different, you know, family of, of compounds, um, you know, to prevent any type of um, carryover in the, in, the, in the worms and the cows. We've seen good results with the valvazin. This part of the country, valvazin is a good product for choice in a late winter, early springtime deworming because those parasites are in the adult phase and the valvazin does a, a, a really good job in those stage parasites. As we get into the hotter, drier time periods of the year, the Dectamax injectable is something we'll use mainly in the summer because we're chasing the inhibited larvae and it does a better job of control of those products. In order to be effective, deworming needs to take place at the appropriate time of year, partially based on geography. We recommend that producers deworm in the fall at preg check time. It helps eliminate the uh, worm burden in the cows and 
also helps in control of uh, larva turning into mature worms. We also recommend that producers uh, deworm the cattle in the spring at calf working time. Uh, has an added benefit of reducing the uh, worm burden on the pastures and um, breaking the cycle of recontaminating those cattle to, to parasites. Some operations rely on fecal egg count reduction tests to develop deworming programs, but those tests may only tell part of the story. Evaluated in light of the cow condition and how the other cattle are performing, is we have to acknowledge the fecal egg count test is not going to give us a true picture on what the inhibited ostertagia do as far as production losses because those inhibited stages don't shed any eggs. So it's not the whole story. It's a, a part of the story and I encourage people to, to utilize it in relationship to cattle production, cattle weight gain, cattle body condition. Cow-calf operations can see an annual return of more than $200 per head on deworming. Rick says he's seen the difference effective deworming brings to cattle performance. We wean calves in July um, at about eight to nine months of age and the steers will you know, approximately weigh 750 pounds coming off of the cows. Um, and then when we ship them 45 days later, um, you know, the steers will weigh 850 to 900 pounds. Um, and the, you know, they'll gain three to three and a half pounds a day during that precondition, preconditioning period. And yes, that has a lot to do with the feed, but if you've got parasitized cow cattle, they're not gonna perform like that. I think animals that are free from parasites generally respond better to vaccines, um, perform better. When we can recognize a major gain advantage to calves for deworming, we can add 15, 20, maybe even 30 pounds onto that weaned calf. That turns into a lot of money in today's market. Rotating between two different classes of dewormer, such as Pfizer's Dectomax and Valbazin products, also helps producers manage their parasite control program. I feel like parasite resistance is something that we should be aware of uh, as veterinarians and producers um, um, and be conscious that that's a possibility. However, in our practice, um, I very rarely see times when I feel like uh, deworming products weren't effective. When concerns rose about parasite resistance, um, that's what, you know, even though we haven't seen it directly, that's what led us to implement using the valvazin at, at one time during the year to, to make sure that hopefully we're preventing that problem. It's important to set up a strategic deworming program with a local veterinarian to find out which products work best. We tried generic dewormers and we just did not see the results that we see with the Pfizer products and it only took us one time to, to figure that out and then we went straight back to the, to the Dectamax and the, and the valves. The veterinarian practicing in this area knows what the rainfall has been like, he knows what the pasture conditions have been like, he knew what cow conditions were like overall in this part of the country going into the fall, so he is in a better position to advise those producers as to which of those products is going to be his best utilization for each time of the year. Controlling parasites with a strategic deworming program using products like Pfizer Animal Health's Dectomax and Valbazin is important to animal performance. It also helps Rick enjoy his job that much more. Best part of my job is being outside, being uh, around the cattle, watching them perform, trying to make improvements within your herd from year to year and um, in recent years seeing the results at sale time. Uh, it's not always the case but right now with the numbers the way they are and prices the way they are um, you know you feel like you're somewhat rewarded uh, for the work that you do trying to, to improve things. Reporting from Orville, Alabama, I'm Matt Fleck for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Now there's more information on Pfizer Animal Health's Dectamax and Valbazin products online at Dectamax.com or simply go to cattleman2cattleman.org. We'll be right back.